Actually, uh, I'm happy to report to all the ladies and gentlemen here that we are running on time. We are really running on time. This is a tribute to Mr. Deming. I was supposed to be on stage at 9.05 and it's 9 p.m. This is awesome. Uh, second thing is I will be brief. Uh, now I thank you for the opportunity. It's an honor to close this evening recognizing two such exceptional leaders. Um, let me say that uh, IBM respectfully takes great pride in being part of this body and its relationship with Colombia. We began working together about 90 years ago. We created the first business academic partnership of this kind, and we did it based on our profound belief that the theory and practice should inform one another. Uh, this night has been part of an important legacy, and I would like to acknowledge the Deming Center and thank everyone in this room for continuing this powerful tradition. In particular, I would like to thank my colleagues on the advisory board who oversee the award process every year with cheer and great expectation, and the members of the judging committee who willingly volunteered for jury duty and showed superb superb sense in selecting our winners. Finally, it's my privilege to be able to give a last acknowledgement to our honorees Ellen Coleman and Steph Wertheimer. Uh, Edward Demings believed that active, innovative people like you, like you, are at the heart of any successful institution. Since IBM has had the honor of working with DuPont and Iskar, I feel that we can testify to this conclusion in both of your cases. Uh, we live in dynamic times when traditional models of business and industry are being totally disrupted. And in large part, this is due to technology innovation. And while this creates amazing opportunities, in our hearts, in our hearts, we know that this is a truly exceptional leaders, like the two we have honoring today, that are the ones that make the difference and size or seize the moment. I can't refrain myself to make a couple of quotes, one on Ellen when she says that execution, operational excellence, and innovation are connected. This is so true, so true. And this reflection, while I am listening to Steph, thinking that he's showing this eternal optimism and the belief that you can actually do better. Um, this proves, I believe, that Deming's philosophy on people just, is just as relevant today as it was half a century ago. Again, on behalf of the Deming Advisory Board, and all of those here this evening, I thank you for your leadership. Thank you. And for the example that you set. We want to sincerely congratulate you both on this very well-reserved recognition. So ladies and gentlemen, all in the room, thank you for being here this evening. Good night, and I now turn to Nelson for closing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bruno. Let me take just one minute to thank five individuals that made this event possible. Angela Quintero and Alice Surina and our three volunteers, Javier de la Cruz, Nadia Nicolai, and Wisi Ruzchek. They were the operations behind this event. From the design of the page that went into the New York Times, to the production of the program that you received, to the tasting of the food you ate, and so forth. But before you leave, I would like to bring your attention to the flowers on the table. They might look like normal flowers to you, but they are not. They are preserved flowers. Fresh flowers that have been treated to last for more than a year. One of the initiatives that the Deming Center has sponsored by Santander Universities and the Chase Institute and both representatives here, 
is a program for entrepreneurs coming from Latin America that some of you are familiar and teach, called ECLA. One of our current entrepreneurs in the program, Verdissimo, donated these flowers. You will all get a sample on your way out, and you're welcome to take the arrangements on your tables. And with this, I would like to thank all our sponsors. Your generosity allows us to do wonderful things for the school, our faculty, our students. As Bruno said, we want to thank all of you for coming tonight and celebrate Ellen's and Seth winning the Deming Cup. And one of my former students donated, an embassy student donated a champagne, so she sent me 30 bottles for us to celebrate. She couldn't be here. Salud. Cheers. And come next year.